This is kind of easier to show you, uh, kind of here at the table. Uh, when I have the opportunity, I'll take film of me doing it inside a box. But a lot of times you'll run across number two wiring like this. And you can see that this is very, very brittle. Your insulation, and a lot of times it just smells off. And sometimes you need to make a repair. Um, it shouldn't be replaced because when you have a brittle insulation like that, that means your wire was overheated. Usually when the wire's not overheated, it's uh, it's like, sometimes it's like brand new. But usually it's on the box where it, it can become overheated, um, that's where you see this. And to make a repair with this, temporary repair, um, I'll take a piece of 12 gauge wire. This is 14 on the Nama 2. If it was 12 gauge Nama 2, I might use a, um, uh, a 10 gauge wire, but in the two, I don't have very much here for as far as uh, tools go. But bear with me. What I'll do is I'll just take a piece of um, insulation off of a, a new wire. Hopefully. And we'll slide that off. And it's a lot easier when you have better tools. But now on this wire coming out of the box, I like to put a little numbing corny on there and try to make it as straight as you can. So if it's all bent up, get in there with your, uh, you know, those pliers and just try and straighten that up. But I've straightened some pretty bent ones up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the, the new insulation over top of that. It goes on pretty easy. Cut that a little more. And so I'll slide the insulation on there. Now, this is usually pretty tight in the box. But you got to get in there and tape it. So you gotta reach up in there and just um, get this around there. Hold that on. Tape it as much as you can. To, um, put some insulation on that wire. Uh, making this repair, I mean, there's, you're kind of limited uh, doing it. And this is kind of, this is better than, um, you know, just wrapping your tape around. Getting up in there and uh, wrapping your tape around, it, like, you know, just to cover it up. Usually it doesn't work too good. And usually you're in limited room to work. And I feel a lot more comfortable with a a new piece of insulation on that old wire and then uh, try to tape that up with electrical tape. So again, 14 gauge wire, a piece of 12 gauge insulation. Sometimes the mini 40 helps out to slide that on there. And I push it on as far as I can and I like to tape that up. I had thoughts about using that new um, kind of masking uh, liquid tape on there. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to give that a try. And again, when I run across this and I make that repair, um, I'll, I'll try to film it for you. Usually you're trying to uh, hurry up and get it done because usually when you run across this, you're just trying to make a, a repair that is temporary until you replace the knob and tube. Because when this happens, that is a sign of overheated wire. And it's very important to replace it. Because you don't know what the wire is down the line. I mean, you can see this one has a lot of tape on it, but... Um, usually in your walls, your, your wire is in pretty good shape. It's at the end of the run, most of the time. And you can see this is this is pretty good. It's 
This was inside of a wall or in your in your rafters. Now, uh, one thing, uh, one time I'm watching to a house and you could feel the wire, and it was so overloaded, it was warm to, to touch it, and you have got to break them circuits up to um, to take the load off your wire. You should try and break your knob or two up to as many circuits as you can so it doesn't overheat. Uh, especially if uh, you can't make, eliminate all of it and you know make the repairs you need. You still want your old wiring to be as safe as you can. So that's one repair I make to old wire you know, in a pinch to make it safe uh, until you can replace. So that's how I uh, add insulation onto an old piece of wire. Then I feel it's a lot better than using just electrical tape.